Hey everyone. Now some of you have noticed in past videos of mine, I've got this 4G dongle thing connected to my router up in my little equipment rack here. And you've asked questions about what I use it for. So I'm going to answer that today. First of all, primarily I use it to receive SMSs. So for things like some shops or banks or companies or whoever that want your phone number for some reason, I don't actually give them my real phone number. Um, I give them the number for this so I can check messages when I feel like it rather than being interrupted by a phone. But it's got another use. I use it as a backup internet connection because obviously it's got internet connectivity. So on this video, I'll show how I've got this set up and, and how I use it. So it normally lives up the side of the rack here. And I just have an external antenna, which is this thing here, because the reception is pretty bad around here. And just plug it into that USB cable, which goes to the um, Raspberry Pi router. Okay, I've just plugged that modem in. So the first thing you'll see is um, some TTY USB devices here. And there's a whole bunch of them. Um, the only one that I'm concerned about is USB, th uh, USB 3. So it tends to be the second highest number on here. This, the number of these can change if the um, GPS is enabled or not, because that thing's got a GPS unit inside too, which also presents as a serial connector. Um, but either way, US, TTY USB 3 is the one I want. So what I'll do is run Minicom on that device, USB 3. And here it is. Now, if you're not familiar, modems use these AT commands. Just look up Hayes modem commands if you want. But either way, you run AT, press enter, and get OK. Now, you didn't see me press AT then. So what you can do is do ATE, which turns on the echo. So now it echoes what I type. So now you can see me type it. So AT is just short for attention. And that's usually before any command. Now, one of the commands is AT exclamation custom equals question. That queries. Um, Oh, let me scroll up a little bit here. Query some capabilities of the thing. Now there's heaps of things on here, but you can see one of them is uh, GPS enable. Here it is. GPS enable. So you can see I've enabled the GPS. I won't go too much into um, changing those things, but, but either way, I'm just pointing out that AT commands do different things. Now there's another one here called PRL region, which for Australia is set to three. And from memory, that command used to show, show the uh, value over here. But um, I haven't done this for a long time. But either way, I'll put some links into how I did that. But the bottom line is it has to be on your region. So anyway, um, to see if it's registered on the network, just do that. And 01 means it's registered. So it's found a signal that's there. So the lights will just be one solid one and one flashing. But it's on the network as far as SMSs are concerned. So what I'm going to do now is just exit out of that and install SMS tools. SMS tools. Oh, I already put it on. Okay, I already put it on, but I haven't set up any config yet, so um, disregard the fact that I already installed it. So anyway, the config is in good old etc. SMSD.conf. So here we go. And the way this works is you define a device, just call it GSM1, so all I've only got one on here, so it's going to be GSM1. And these directories are where it puts uh, your SMSs. So basically, this one here is where my SMSs received will come in. So for GSM, GSM1, right down the bottom here, you've got some defaults here, which I've got to change. So as I said, mine is device USB 3. Uh, incoming, yes. The board rate is 9600. And that's about it. So since that was actually running already, I can go to var spool SMS and you'll see those directories here. Look at incoming and there's nothing there. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is go system CTL um, restart SMS tools. Since I did that config change, so I'll just restart it. And also to make sure it starts at boot, I'll make sure I enabled it. Okay, so I'll just send an SMS to that machine now from my phone. Okay, I have to come out here for reception because it's it's just hopeless in the house. So um, just send a message here and send it to that machine. Okay, so send a message. Okay, what's happening there is because I've got SMS tools running now, it's doing this AT. That's not me typing, that's it. So what I'll do is I'll just stop that. So service, SMS tools, uh, stop. Okay, that'll stop it also trying to access this thing. Okay, back to me. So, what I've got to do 
is run uh, CPMS equals, and now this is the memory storage for where those things are. It can be ME, SM, MT, and I'll try and put some notes in the info for this, but basically I've got to set it to ME. It's a memory storage, and I'm just going to set it to ME. So there it is. And the other thing I've got to do is set the mode to be SMS. And you do that by doing that equals one. Now they can be combined in one command. So AT plus CPMS equals ME plus uh, CMGF equals one. So you do that in one go. So now, given that I have to do that before I get messages, I'm just gonna exit that and go back to my config and down the bottom here, where I had all this stuff here for the modem, see this init string, the initialization? I'm going to put that in there. Now I'll restart it. So service, SMS tools, restart. So that should start the whole thing itself. If I list there, there's something there, which is the message I just sent myself. So I'll, I'll uh, <laughs> show you this without showing my phone number. So I'll just edit this and be back in just a second. Okay, so here's my message coming in. It shows where it came from, which is my mobile phone. And this here, I had to look this up because I don't know what that number is. But this SMSC, SMS, by the way, is short for short message service. Um, so SMSC is short message service center, which I'm just reading is, is like an outgoing gateway that's um, set up for the phone to forward messages to. So I didn't know that, but there you go. That's that. I don't think it's too problematic giving that out. Um, and the other numbers here and obviously the message down the bottom is the main thing so you get your message and you get where it came from so that's how it works for receiving messages to send a message it's pretty similar you just do two and then the number with the country without the plus at the start and then your digits and then just some message some return message from the machine okay and what you do is you just copy that and put it in the send directory. So in the outgoing directory, um, just put uh, something there. Okay, and you put that there. And then when you um, save it and exit, it'll check it and then send it. So, okay, so I've just put my actual phone number in there and put it in there. So there's nothing there at the moment. So I'll look at all the directories here. You can see that at the moment it's in the checked directory. There's nothing in failed. Oh, I just heard the phone. Probably just heard the phone too. So you see now it's in the sent directory. So that's something I just sent is in the sent directory. Okay, so that's that. And you can do other things um, that I haven't bothered to do yet, like run a script when some message comes in and, and make it do stuff. Um, but either way, the basic functionality is there for you to expand on. Now, that's for the uh, phone side. To, to use data, it's a little bit different. Okay, so at the moment, the second blue light on the thing is still flashing. So it's not actually connecting to the network, but it is ready to connect. So what you need first is a profile, which you get from your, um, your service provider. So to see what profiles I've got on here, because you can have more than one, I've currently got this, and I'm gonna use the first one. These others are just bits of nothing. So that came from my, my service provider is Belong on this, which is a mob from Telstra. So mdata.net.au is the one they use. And IP means IPv4. IPv6 would be 6 and 4 and 6. Now you'd think I'd like both, but I had a bit of trouble getting IPv6 working on this, even though I did get an address from the carrier. But anyway, I'll, I'll go through that in a minute. So these profiles, to set one up, uh, so for that first one, all you do is the same sort of start, AT plus CGD cont equals 1 for the first profile, and then put those details in and you'll get the okay. So now I have to get it to use that though, because at the moment, what I've got on the computer, in my, all my interfaces, I'll just make it a bit smaller so it fits, all my interfaces here, see I've got the normal network VLANs and the, and the WAN and WireGuard and all that, but I've also got this wireless WAN zero. And that's all gonna well, but um, if I show an address on it, address show dev wireless WAN zero, I don't have an address. Okay, look, it says down. So I need to bring that mobile network connection up first. And to do that, back in Minicom, uh, USB 3. So to bring that up with profile 1, I need to do AT, exclamation mark, SCACT equals 1, comma 1, and press enter on that. And it'll take a sec, 
and then I get the OK. So if I exit that now and do IP link, you'll see it's up now for wireless WAN. But I still don't have an IP address unless it's done it automatically. Address uh, show dev WAN0. No, I don't. Actually, before I try and get an address on this, sorry about this, I'll just go back here and show you that I can check on the modem if it got an address from the from the network. So to do that, um, AT SCP address equals one, and it shows me I got an address from the network, but I still don't have that on my adapter. So on the adapter, if I just do a DH client um, wireless WAN zero, I've got something. So IP dash four address show dev wireless WAN zero. There's the address it came in now. So if I ping through it, which is just taken over my default because I haven't set it up right, you can see it's a bit rough. Oh, Jesus, four second pings, but it, it does work and um, yeah, it's catching up. Anyway, I'm gonna tidy that up soon. So what I need to do now, instead of running Minicom every time I wanna do something with the serial port, okay, I just wanna send this to that serial port uh, manually. So I can do that on the command line by doing echo dash n dash e so the escape characters work and you have to do that because this exclamation mark will, will upset it otherwise when you're trying to run it in bash but I also need the uh, return a new line okay and I want to send that to dev tty usb3 and that'll do the job so what I need to do now is get that to run automatically at startup so what I've done is um, in in at d so I've got a little bash script, very small, just to say, run that command. So it'll do that when the thing starts up. And as usual, uh, update RC connect modem defaults. So that'll set it to run at startup. So what I'll do now is reboot the thing because I want to check it all happens automatically without me intervening. And when I reboot it, it reboots the USB port, which reboots that modem anyway. So it's a good test. Okay, so here it is booting up. Um, you can see it's not joined the network yet the mobile network okay so now it's found the mobile network okay so you can see it's on the data network now okay so now that's rebooted I have automatically my IP address here for that um, wireless WAN interface and I got that because in my networking interfaces file down the bottom whoop, somewhere here down the bottom I've just added this to bring that interface automatically up with DHCP and I've also got SMS tools running and so there in var spool SMS inbox I just sent myself another message oh, apparently two more someone else has messaged um, there, there's some extra messages so the messages are coming in I can send them and I've also got data connectivity so if I just ping through my normal interface you'll see the, the response time is pretty quick if I ping from was WAN interface you'll see the pings are shit out but it's there so that's the main thing now something else I should probably mention is all of that was done on a Raspberry Pi with the basic install. So it doesn't have network uh, manager installed. If you use just a normal computer with Debian running and you plug that in, network manager will also try and control that adapter and try and do things. So you'd want to disable that before you do what I did. What I showed was specifically for a Raspberry Pi just with um, a CLI install. Now I did mess around with setting this to IPv4 and V6 or even just IPv6 only. But um, I managed to get an IP address from the modem's point of view, like as though it got that from the carrier, got a different one each time, but I couldn't get that to come across into the operating system. So I may look at that in the future, um, but for now, at least I've got a backup IPv4 connection. Okay, so that's set up pretty much how I want. I've got an SMS tool running there to receive SMSs so I don't have to give my actual mobile phone number out to anyone and I can send it from there if I really want to, which I usually don't. And it also gives me that backup internet connection. Um, I've got a script that I've, I've been working on, but I haven't finished it yet, to automatically check if my normal connection's um, good, and if it dies, then set the default route to the backup connection and only let a couple of machines use it. But if I, do, if I finish that, I'll show you in a future video. Now, some of you might know about these sorts of things. It's, it's a mobile adapter, which also usually has a Wi-Fi um, access point but also it presents itself to the computer as a network interface so it's easier for the network setup if you put a sim card in here just plug it into the computer and then it'll um, it'll just use it as a network adapter without that setup the problem is 
to, to do SMSs on this, you have to go through a web page, whereas I like the SMS tools better because then you can script things and, and do things all on the computer via CLI. So that's why I like that. But anyway, there may be a solution for that on these that I'm not aware of, but that one works, so that's what I'm sticking with. So anyway, that's that. Until next time, take it easy.